Instead of being paid off by my sponsor, I will simply tell you guys today's video is sponsored by Cable Creations. This is my very first sponsored video. I have been very skeptical of these sponsorships. I do not like social media influencers, marketers, upsellers, shillers, any of that. But today I will be letting you know I am sponsored. Now, I have reached communication with Cable Creations that we will not have any kind of compromising in my honesty. So whether they like what I say or not, we're just going to let this product have it, whether it's good, bad, ugly, pretty, nobody cares, right? We're going to be as honest as can be, very thorough with this review. Now, I think it's important to mention that I did receive a vendor coupon that was super discounting the price of these HDMI cables. But that being said, I did still have to pay a difference and put some of my own money out on the line. So it's not just like a blind sponsorship where, again, I'm receiving a product for nothing and selling and upselling and all that nonsense. So... Again, I can't stress how important it is to reach this dialogue with you guys because nobody on YouTube is showing this kind of information. They're just telling you they're sponsored, collecting money, and moving on with their video. It's not what's going to happen here, and I need to point that out for the bazillionth time because I promise you there'll be people that are going to try to use this against me. But that being said, I still wanted to make this video because I think it's very important to talk about the differences between HDMI 2.1 and fiber optic HDMI. But with all that housekeeping out of the way, let's get started. So looking at the two cables, the optical cable is the nicer one. It has some nice hardware elements to it. Um, you got the HDMI 2.1 cable. I really like the feeling of this. The braiding on it is really tight and it feels firm. So I feel like it'll be a little bit more durable than this one that doesn't have the braiding on it. And this also, again, it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to it. So I'm going to plug these bad boys up and see what they do. So some of the questions I've been receiving about HDMI 2.1 versus fiber optic HDMI is like, Will you see any benefits with HDMI 2.1, like quick media switching? Will you see better Dolby Atmos? Will you see better Dolby Vision? So that's what we're gonna be testing in this video. We've also been getting questions about how does pass-through work with Dolby Atmos? And we're gonna be talking about that as well. So I hope you guys are going to be enjoying that. We've also been getting questions about just in general using fiber optic HDMI. And so far it's pretty decent. I don't have any issues. I mean, it's a beautiful picture. I think so anyway. I'm not having any real issues. I will obviously be doing long-term tests on this and to see if there are even bigger benefits on different devices and things like that. But so far, as far as my initial impressions, it's pretty good, I've got to say. And as we do this uh, reveal of Keanu here, it's looking pretty decent. So let's continue on with the video. Now I'm using my cell phone, so it's not going to be accurate but you can get an idea of what's happening on my end as far as audio though i have noticed zero improvement to audio so i don't really know if that's going to help i genuinely think hdmi 2.1 is literally just like you have to have an hdmi excuse me here 2.1 device or it's just not going to give you much of a benefit and that's just kind of what i'm seeing so far now testing out if they have quick media switching yeah i'm, I'm gonna just call it out a no because as soon as it switches, the screen does still blank out, which is happening right now, which is one of the biggest kind of deterrents to quick media switching. That's what quick media switching is supposed to fix. So for anyone thinking it's built into the HDMI cable, it's not. So, you know, it is what it is there. Um, as far as HDR, HDR10 sees zero improvement whatsoever. It's literally the exact same. It's really washed out compared to SDR. Um, and again, there's no improvement there at all. Now, as far as Dolby Vision goes, I do notice that color is improved slightly, so I don't know if this has something to do with the HDMI 2.1, um, but I feel like colors are definitely isolated, uh, cleaner, and sharper, so, you know, maybe the dynamic HDR benefit and uh, the HDMI 2.1 cable might be transferring over, but I can't say for sure, for sure. But either way, uh, Dolby Vision is looking a little better than what I do remember. All right, so I'm passing through the optical cable into the sound bar to the display. Um, as I mentioned, it is omnidirectional, so you have to be very careful with uh, how you set this up because you could mess some things up as far as having to just redo it because there won't be a picture. Um, that being said, it does pass Dolby Atmos through to the television, and I have my HDMI 2.1 
going from the Xbox to the sound bar, but either way, we're gonna hear how this sounds. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds really good, but you're gonna need to use your headphones to hear exactly how good it actually sounds. In the land of the undead. Picture looks cleaner too. So I'm sure you probably could have not only seen how much clearer that was, uh, or at least maybe you could or couldn't, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, dude, it looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Using both optical and HDMI 2.1 seems to provide a cleaner signal overall, and as you saw, it was in Dolby Atmos the entire time. So yeah, no, I definitely think that's really, really good. All right, guys, so in summary, when I pair the fiber optic HDMI through the HDMI 2.1, the image quality does get pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. It seems very clear and very clean. I don't know how much of this is showing through on YouTube, but I am using my cell phone, and honestly speaking, it looks pretty decent. And uh, for those who probably want to try to use this as a comparison with other televisions, don't try it because I turned off my calibration or grayscale calibration correction, so haha. -ha. But that being said though, uh, in all seriousness though, this is pretty impressive. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far. The audio benefits, I mean, it, it sounds nice, but I can't really say that it's so much better than the Dolby Atmos I was already experiencing. And overall, I think you still need to buy an HDMI 2.1 display if you're trying to get all the HDMI 2.1 benefits or even some of them because the cable itself is not going to do it for you. That is not an adequate replacement for HDMI 2.1. And that's as honest as that gets. Now, as far as cable creations goes and their HDMI build quality and things like that, I think they built them pretty nice. I think it would have been nicer if the expensive $50 cable would have had a... Uh, light of some sort like an indicator to let you know which side is the source and which side is the display uh, being omnidirectional is definitely really crappy because it limits what we're able to do with these but that's more so the technology i know so i figure the company maybe could do something a little better to help people distinguish more than just writing as stupid as that sounds because in the dark you're not really going to pay attention to these things if you're trying to hook it up so it's just something to think about you might need extra light or something like that um, the build quality is nice though overall and I like the HDMI 2.1 cable like a lot. It's really firm, very tight and sturdy. It, it like feels hard as a rock and that makes me feel like it'll be pretty durable. But I'll digress and say either way, I haven't had a single dropout. I've been uh, doing this for hours now, testing hours and hours and hours and I haven't had any real problems whatsoever. It's been a pretty fantastic experience. So these HDMI cables are just as good as what I've had right now and better. And these will be the regular HDMI cables that I do use on my Xbox One X. And I'm going to be putting the fiber optic cable on my PC, which I use more than anything else. So we're really gonna put these cables through the test, that's for sure. But that being said, I want your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching the number one brand in honesty. This looks awesome. I'd be talking forever if I didn't end it here. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later.